Southern fried chicken tenders. I've got some that cook up from frozen that are really good. I mean, these are better than many others that I've had before them. And I'm gonna be cooking them up in the Emeril Lagasse Power Air Fryer 360 XL straight from frozen. I'm gonna show you how easy that is and how they cook up nice and crispy right now. All right, so nothing in this video is sponsored, but these are so good, I gotta tell you about them. These are Tyson Southern Style Chicken Breast Tenderloins. And they are so good and full of a lot of meat, but well breaded. And when you put them in the air fryer, they come out real crispy. And so to basically get things started, I'm going to be cooking on the air fry setting at 425 degrees for 30 minutes. So I've already got that set. So I'm just going to hit start and let things preheat. Usually if I'm only doing two, I'll do 25 minutes, but I'm going to be doing more than two this time. I'm going to be doing about four or so. And so I'm going to let them cook for 30 minutes and that should get them cooked up just right here in the XL model. And so I'm going to get my chicken tenders laid out. Look how big these are. I mean, even before I cook them, look how big these are. They're big and full of meat. I mean, they're huge. So that's why we have to cook them up like this. So getting the rest of these laid out, and so just getting them evenly spaced, making sure I have some room with them all. And it looks like there's like, this is the end of the bag. There's like some extra crummage, I guess you could call it. So just seeing if there's any crummage that maybe has a piece of meat in it, but leaving those there. So gonna let things continue to preheat. Once they're done preheating, we'll get this on in. All right, so our preheat's done. Going to hit pause, get it back to my full 30 minutes. Gonna take this air fryer basket, put it on the very highest rack holder up in the cooker, the very highest one up, nothing underneath. Close up, hit start. Gonna let that run for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna get ready to pause things, but I'm gonna add some fries in here too. I got some checkers fries. I'm gonna hit pause because I need to flip things over in there anyway. But while I'm flipping, I'm gonna throw some fries in. I have some fries with these uh, chicken tenders also. So, you know, that'll add a nice, nice little touch to the meal. I'm getting my fries out here. So I'm get, see if I can fit any more. Let's see. This is pretty good. That looks pretty good. Good deal. That should be enough. Alright. Get them kind of spread out there like this. That'll be pretty good. Going to go ahead and open up, get my fries put on there. And I need to flip my chicken over because I don't want it to like burn on the side that it's on by just cooking the whole time on one side. So I flip it over like so. Let's flip it like that, close up. Those fries start getting overcooked too soon. I'll stop things, but we'll let this run. We'll see if it goes to full 15 or not, but I'll bring it back in a moment. All right, so we're another 10 minutes in. 25 minutes past at this point. I just want to check this chicken in case the chicken's already done and you know maybe pull it now. I thought it might need an extra five minutes but I want to check and see. Maybe it can come out now. I usually do 25 minutes so I'm just going to hit pause there and just going to pull it out. Usually not cooking this much at once so that's why I went for 30 but this chicken's done. I mean it's in the 170s here. This one's in the 170s, and this one, the you know, 170s, this one also, this one's in the 200s, this one on this end here. So these are 170s, that one's 200. So they're all done. So basically the chicken cooked up in what is the usual amount of time I would use is 25 minutes. Now the fries, they usually only take about maybe 10 minutes to cook up, but usually they don't have anything like on top of them. 
usually if they don't, you know, if I don't have anything else in, I'll do about 10 minutes on the fries. But I'm just going to, since they had something else on top of them, let those cook for maybe the next five minutes to finish those off. And then we'll be able to do a taste test of all this together. All right, so we're coming into the final seconds now. And, you know, I probably could have put those fries in there after 10 minutes of cooking past and just let, you know, both things be in there together the last 15 minutes and finished it out. But, you know, with the fries, putting those in a little later, just need a little extra time by themselves to finish out. But I'm going to, you know, go ahead and pull these. They look pretty decent. And so it's an easy way to get a good bit of food cooked up all at once when you gotta cook up some stuff from frozen and you gotta get a meal knocked out. So just a couple more seconds here, literally now, and then we'll get these out. So we're all done. Get our fries out. You can see our fries. So going to basically plate a couple of these tenders and plate some of these fries and I always like to mention when I do taste testing I don't like to interrupt the taste with any condiments just to ensure everything is as it should be so I won't be using any type of sauces or anything during this taste test but here we go you know a plate of food without a lot of time and so let's do a taste test all right so I'm going to taste a fry first you can see it's uh, pretty well done, but it's not, you know, super hard because it was in there with the other food. All right, that's a hot fry. Let's try the chicken tender. Okay, good thing I gave those a moment to cool down. Still pretty warm. And so, everything turns out good. Cook it up quick, there you go. You can always get to my blog at superwaveovenrecipes.com for the written form of things and to search around for recipes. Also, you can always get to this YouTube channel by going to waveovenrecipes.com. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at waveovenrecipes. Also, in the video description are other ways to help out this channel. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and good eating.